Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So maybe some of you are wondering what happened to the deal of the day videos. Um, nothing. We are actually gonna continue them uh, next week. However, this week really I'm not in the mood for the uh, deal of the day videos, especially with the market is not really stable right now. After Mr. Joe Biden uh, um, has taken the uh, the presidency. So anyway. Um, what I'm looking at right now is actually the gold. The gold right now is actually very interesting to be short. As we can see that the gold right now is at the same level of this resistance level as we can see on 1863.03. And we had right here, uh, not here, we, we had right here a bearish candle. That indicates that the gold seems like it's getting a pressure from the sellers or from the bears and they are pushing the market to go down. So what I'm thinking now, if we go to the one minute time frame, we can see that, oh, oh, when I was recording, it was actually right here. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the pair has fallen for seven pips. It's all right. We can still actually open the trade. So by looking at the one hour, one minute time frame, as you know, guys, this is my strategy in scalping gold. After identifying the direction that I'm going to on the four hour time frame, I'm going to head to the one minute time frame and identify the strongest resistance and support level. Now, since I'm looking for the sell, then I have to, go, so, to identify the strongest resistance levels. And right here, we can see that we had here these two key resistance levels. And even when the market tried to break out from that level, it immediately fall down. Therefore, the goal should be good for the short at that level. And the target is actually going to be right here. At least the support right here. Uh, hopefully the pair won't reach this level before we start shorting it. Because if we started shorted, shorting right here, we're actually going to aim 16 pips uh, profit from scalping the gold. Um, to be honest with you guys, scalping is my way to be safe in trading. I believe scalping is way better than swing trades because if you are in a, in a long term trade, um, it actually might get ruined by any unsuccessful and expected the news sorry and therefore you can actually lose all the profits you have made unlike scalping scalping is way more safer in my opinion because you can limit the profits and also you can limit the losses as well so i'm just waiting for the candle to rise a little bit more and after that i'm gonna open the short option however i think we would i think we have to wait some more time or shall i go just, just go for it i mean it's just like three pips only um, I just really want to play it safe I'm thinking about it honestly one click trading uh, the lot size with this account let's make it 0 0.50 should be fine Mm, okay, 0 0.50 should be fine. All right, so we are just waiting for the pair to rise a little bit more before we start shorting it. I think to save your time, guys, I'm gonna pause the recording until I be I'm gonna be able to start the short. And yes, the price is rising or the gold is rising, and I think I'm gonna open the short option right. Let's see right now. That's fine. And please check the spread, check the, 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 the entry point. I mean, that was amazing. And of course, it's because I'm using IC Markets uh, broker, if anyone wondering. And also, I still believe IC Market is still one of the best brokers in the world, especially for scalpers. And I'm very happy with them, actually. And you can actually support the channel by opening account in IC Markets using the link provided in the description below the video. And thank you in advance. Now, what we can see right here is that the gold is ranging at the exactly same level of the resistance I talked about. Look at that. This is actually the zone of the resistance. And look at that. We are already in the profit and the price has fallen. I have entered my trade on the perfect, perfect level, as we can see. And as I told you before, by looking at the four hour time frame, let's zoom in. We can identify after seeing this bearish candle that the price is seemingly going to continue the fall. Not only that, actually... This is more interesting. If we analyze it candle by candle, what we can see right here is we, if we draw here a support trend line like that, we can see that this support trend line has been breaking out from using this also bearish breakout candle. 
that's why the pair seems like it's gonna continue the fall and of course don't forget that we are on the same level of the top level oh sorry of the peak of the resistance at 1862 going back to the one minute time frame we can see that the price actually rising a little bit more um we don't really care for the price action in the one minute time frame we just look for the support and resistance levels for the price action for the candle shapes i don't give a damn about it in the one minute time frame five minute or 15 minute maybe but one minute no way by the way i forgot to mention something here hold on one second okay so i really hope it's not too late i should have shown this actually before starting the, the session however for anyone wondering what kind of strategy i'm using in this video please refer to my channel on youtube and scroll down until you find this video right here a new forex strategy scalping gold on one minute candles and you can follow it later by many other live trading videos on the scalping gold strategy such as this one right here and if i'm not mistaken also um usually i mark them with the gold color uh there are so many of them actually but maybe my eyes tricking me right now uh this one also here right here uh live trading uh let's make money with gold all these videos oh it has already <laughs> okay i'm back to the trade and as you can see the trade has actually touched my take profit level and just reversed from the same level oh my god i missed the entry it's okay i missed taking the profit it's all right no worries, no worries. uh the the movement is bearish and eventually the take profit level is going to be uh, approached later just give it some more time and let's hope it's gonna fall right now that's you see guys that is the reason i'm always depending on my on my live trading i mean i don't depend on the take profit level i don't depend on the open uh, on the pending orders i really like to open the trades and close them manually that's one of the main reasons and imagine what will gonna happen for example if the pair right now gonna continue the rise and gonna hit the stop loss what are you going to do for sure okay no need to say that it's a bad word i think you figured it out yourself <laughs> okay let's see what will gonna happen right now um the pair oh my god i missed about 65 dollars it's okay we just have to wait some more time until the pair reach the take profit level so until then let me now please pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly and show you once i take the profit and um, when i'm gonna actually open the next trade also i wanted to mention that really this is one of the reasons i um, don't really like making these live trading videos because i am busy explaining to you the things and it leads for me to be distracted and focusing on different things and yeah it's just not really a good thing to focus on other things than trading while you are trading with your live account uh it's always advised advisable guys focus on the trades don't ever leave the platform uh always be ready for things for anything can happen such as this thing here um this is actually one of the reasons a lot of people losing in trading uh they are getting so greedy and as we can see guys here the trade is falling and it's about to hit the tech profit level i think i'm gonna close it right now manually just to secure the profits yes i did that uh i wanted to give you example to never be greedy because actually some people what they are doing they set the tech profit level and they really stick to it i mean they don't give a room for any any chances for the market to reverse i mean look at that the market the, the candle is still falling but why did i close it earlier it's because i'm not a greedy person a lot of people actually getting so greedy and they set the tech profit level and exactly what happened right front of you is happening to them the market actually reached their tech profit tech profit level and just before triggering it the market reverse and continue the rise and maybe all the way to hit the stop loss there was no reason for that why did you lose the trade because you are just hungry for one more pip and that is exactly the reason a lot of people failing in forex because they are really so greedy i mean just i made a 44 45 dollars profit from this trade which was really good and i still have actually we're still in the morning it's still 10 a.m here dubai time and i still the i still have the whole day to trade so i can open another 20 positions uh, during the day so it's fine it's really fine okay now let's chase the candle and see what happened next what is the next trade that we can open okay now if we go to the five minute time frame for example we can see that the bearish momentum is still strong and we are having right here a support 
right here at 1859.84 and since we are having here a strong bearish momentum it seems that the candles are still gonna continue the fall I really don't think the gold is gonna continue the rise at this moment uh, sorry at this moment after seeing this bearish candle appeared so therefore go back to the form to the four hour time frame and indeed we can see the fall is happening so the pressure from the sellers is stronger and the market is falling so therefore what we can do actually is we can look for the next short option the idea here is you are looking for short so what you are looking for right now is the strongest resistance levels now since we sold our we opened our first trade based on that resistance let's now look at the next strong resistance level so i'm gonna drag this line bottom here and check this out check this out guys this is the next strong resistance level this one right here is a key resistance level and as we can see in the future when the market has actually made the bullish breakout candle from this uh, resistance level this the very exactly same level has become a support as well and it was here also a support and just now we have witnessed the breakout from that support therefore that is gonna be actually my next time to open the trade and as we can see the candle now is getting ready for another visit for the same level to retest it and right after that i'm gonna open the short so uh let me just uh, wait for some time and i think i'm gonna pause the recording until this happens so the, so therefore uh, i will pause now uh, the recording and i will open it again uh, once i open the trade all right as we can see the pair has continued the fall as i told you uh, sadly it didn't reach our entry point of that resistance and it just continued the fall therefore this trade is going to be uh, ignored and let's now look at the next uh, trade where we can actually open the next trade really <laughs> okay i think i'm i'm not focusing okay now let's see what we where we can actually open the next trade so what i'm going to do right now is we are still on the one minute time frame and i'm going to find the next strong resistance levels as we can see right here guys exactly right here right here we are having a resistance level not this one because this one we have already used uh, or actually opened the trade on the first uh, level right here so therefore this level right here as a resistance can be uh, relied on let's go more to the left perfect perfect look at that the same level was also a strong key resistance level that's fantastic so let's go back to the current time and definitely yes i'm going to open the sell order right when the market actually reached that level uh, I think if we go to the four hour time frame, we can see that resistance I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly right here, guys. This is the resistance I'm talking about in the past. And the pair actually approaching the very same level of that resistance. And let's just wait for the, for the candle to retest the broken support level and that resistance to become again another resistance. So actually, I'm going, I'm going to open it right here. Let me just zoom in like that. And as we can see, uh, this is the bearish breakout candle and here are the, the nearest tails to that bearish breakout candles and that is exactly also the same level which was previously a resistance in the past and I'm hoping that the resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance as well so we're just waiting for the candle to rise a little bit more so I can open the trade actually I'm getting a little bit greedy here so the profits that I have made from the from the previous trade i'm going to invest it right now in this trade so i'm going to make my stop loss right here about 50 or 60 dollars and the profit should be at least 100 uh the pair is still rising um it's only just three pips only it's okay it's just three pips uh, far away from the entry point so therefore i have opened the trade now let's just be securing our uh trade and just make the stop loss just in case so this is going to be my stop loss right here the problem is i have inc uh, increased the loss size and therefore um the stop loss is just 10 pips away 60 to 65 dollars uh that is not good that's my bad actually i i should have thought about it before opening the trade so anyway uh the thing i'm going to say is we had right here as i said before a strong bearish momentum and therefore uh the the target now the next target is going to be that su uh, support level at 1858.65 so that's going to be our target and i believe the candle is going to continue the fall till it reach that level and yes perfect yes perfect we are still now in the profits 
uh, let me go to the four hour time frame just to confirm that my target is really gonna be approached uh, definitely yes definitely the gold is good for the short at the moment and for scalpers it's really great to scalp the gold right now and uh, the video is in 15 minutes right now and i really don't want to make it so long i think we are gonna get um, i think these are these two trades uh, should be enough for the day and yes the trade is going in the profit fantastic um guys i just want to highlight that the reason for these live trading videos is never showing off the account is never showing off the ability of trading it's only to show you the reality when you are trading with your live account uh, what are the things you can expect and how we can actually analyze the market and look for these options or these trades um, I really hope everyone is going to learn uh, from my experience and from my live trading live trading videos how to open these trades and how to enjoy making money from trading forex and yes finally the trade is going in really good profits uh, so far we are in 11 pips of profit and I'm really thinking to close the trade right now since we have we have already here at the support level and the market seems like it's reversing and uh i think 50 dollars from this trade should be fine i mean the target is 127 dollars actually that's appealing let's just wait and see what will gonna happen the thing is it happened to me so many times that i'm getting hungry for this 127 dollars and in the end the pair actually might rise and hit the stop loss however i don't think this is gonna happen uh the bearish momentum the bearish momentum on the gold is very strong and i believe we're gonna end this trade in profit so uh let me now please pause the recording and i'll show you uh, and i'll can i'm gonna continue recording once i finish this trade all right so the candle is continuing the fall and 67 dollars is totally fine i'm closing this trade i really want to close it and end it and take the profit 67 dollars is a really good amount from from scalping on this uh, trade so uh i don't know for some reason i was really nervous on this session maybe because i didn't record since long time or didn't record a live trading session for a long time um really guys you have no idea how how actually it is to to trade your live account oh look at that the candle has fallen it's okay it's okay i missed about 30 dollars it's totally fine it's totally fine we can make we can still make some profits later what i wanted to say is guys you really have no idea how stressful i am getting when trading the live account and recording and explaining and posting on youtube i mean that's really somehow uh, some pressure and it takes some time to get used to it anyway uh this was really good uh, trading session and i'm happy that uh, what i said to you is is really happened the gold was indeed moving in a bearish momentum and it was really good the time to start shorting the gold and um, i'm happy also that my targets which i have selected has been approached however i'm also happy that i have closed my trade my trades earlier because i want everyone to learn how to be um safe and accept the profits no matter how little they are just exit the trade in the profit that you are actually satisfied with and don't be greedy ever so in the end um i really hope that is informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching